Welcome back, adventurers. Today, we're delving into the dark and mysterious realm of Barovia as we review the Curse of Strahd. So grab your holy symbols and prepare to face the Lord of Vampires. Let's get started. Curse of Strahd beckons us into the gothic horror of Barovia, a land shrouded in mist and ruled by the enigmatic Strahd von Zorovich. The atmosphere is palpable, and every description drips with dread, from haunted villages to foreboding castles. The setting is an immersive journey into the heart of darkness. Let's talk about the man, or should I say vampire, of the hour. Strahd von Zarovich is not your typical antagonist. He's a complex character with a tragic backstory that adds layers to the campaign. Strahd is not just a vampire lord, he's the living embodiment of dread in Barovia. From the moment he's introduced, the campaign takes on an ominous tone that never wavers. Strahd's presence is felt in every shadow, every gust of wind, and every dark corner, creating an atmosphere of perpetual tension that hangs over the players like a shroud. The DM's ability to portray Strahd as both charming and malevolent creates a sense of unease, keeping players on their toes. What sets Strahd apart is the depth of his characterization. He's not a two-dimensional villain. He's a tragic figure with a complex past and a malevolent present. Curse of Strahd masterfully weaves his story, revealing layers of tragedy and darkness that evoke both empathy and repulsion. Strahd is not a mindless monster. He's a character with motives, desires, and a history that players can unravel as they traverse the haunted lands of Barovia. Strahd's ability to appear and disappear at will adds an unpredictable element to the campaign. The Vampire Lord is never where you expect him to be, and his sudden appearances can turn even the most mundane moments into scenes of chilling suspense. The constant feeling of being watched, combined with Strahd's penchant for toying with the party, contributes to the overall sense of helplessness and foreboding. Strahd is not a villain who waits passively in his castle for the heroes to come to him. Instead, he's a relentless pursuer, a hunter who actively seeks the party throughout their journey. This dynamic element turns Curse of Strahd into a high-stakes game of cat and mouse, where every step the players take is a shadow by the ever-present threat of Strahd's looming influence. The characters, not just the titular villain Strahd von Zorovich, but a myriad of NPCs with depth and layers that rival even the most compelling novel. Each character is a thread in the intricate tapestry of Barovia, weaving their own stories and motivations into the narrative, providing players with allies, enemies, and enigmatic figures whose motives are as murky as the mists enveloping the land. The NPCs in Curse of Strahd are more than just supporting characters. They're integral to the campaign's atmosphere, storytelling, and player engagement. From tragic figures like Irina and Father Donovich, to enigmatic allies like Von Richten and Esmeralda. Each NPC contributes to the rich tapestry of horror and intrigue that defines Barovia. As players navigate the dark corners of this land, the interactions with these characters shape the narrative, creating a memorable and immersive experience in the chilling domain of Strahd von Zarovich. Gameplay mechanics are masterfully interwoven with the narrative offering a challenge that tests both wits and strategy. From the integration of the Taroka deck system, role-playing takes on a whole new feel from other campaign modules. The sandbox-style approach grants players freedom while the lurking danger ensures that they tread cautiously. The module caters to various playstyles, from those who relish in combat to those who thrive on role-playing and investigation. The balance between exploration, combat, and role-playing is a testament to the campaign's versatility. The Taroka deck 
a unique set of cards inspired by real world tarot decks, is more than just a prop in Curse of Strahd. It's a tool for both dungeon masters and players alike to shape the course of the adventure. The deck is used in a fortune telling session, determining key elements such as the location of important items, allies, and even the final confrontation with the Lord of Barovia. This adds an unparalleled level of unpredictability and replayability to each playthrough. What sets the Taroka deck mechanics apart is the degree of player agency it introduces. Instead of merely receiving a predetermined narrative, players actively participate in their fate. Each card drawn during the fortune telling session has a corresponding impact on the unfolding story, allowing players to influence the direction of their adventure. This element of agency enhances immersion and investment as the players become co-authors of their own Barovian saga. The randomized nature of the Taroka deck ensures that no two campaigns are identical. The locations of critical items, allies, and final confrontation can vary significantly from one playthrough to another. This dynamic element injects a sense of freshness and unpredictability into the gameplay, encouraging both players and dungeon masters to adapt and think on their feet. It's a feature that rewards creativity and keeps the adventure exciting whether you're a seasoned DM or a first time player. At the forefront of Barovia's monstrous inhabitants are the vampires, led by the enigmatic and formidable Strahd von Zodovich. These creatures are not your run of the mill bloodsuckers. They're intelligent, cunning, and possess a myriad of vampiric abilities that make each encounter a strategic challenge. The inclusion of vampires as central figures enhances the campaign's gothic horror atmosphere, turning every dark corner into a potential lair for these immortal foes. The mist-shrouded landscapes of Barovia are home to a vast array of undead horrors, from skeletal minions to the eerie specters that haunt desolate places. Curse of Strahd presents a compelling variety of undead adversaries. Each creature is meticulously detailed with unique abilities that reflect the dark magic permeating the land. The presence of undead in Barovia adds layers of tension and dread, reinforcing the campaign's theme of death and unending torment. Barovia is not just a realm of vampires and undead, however. It's also infested with the curse of lycanthropy, werewolves, Werebats and other shape shifting horrors prowl the forests and villages, presenting a different kind of threat to the players. The inclusion of lycanthropes not only diversifies the monster encounters, but also introduces moral dilemmas and choices related to the curse, further engaging players in the narrative. Beyond the iconic monsters, Curse of Strahd introduces an assortment of Strahd's loyal minions and monstrous servants. From the ruthless spawn of Strahd to the mysterious Vistani, these creatures add depth to the campaign and provide a constant sense of threat. The diverse cast of adversaries keeps players on their toes, never allowing them to feel entirely secure in Barovia's hostile environment. One of the strengths of the monsters in Curse of Strahd lies in their design philosophy. Each creature is carefully crafted and to contribute to the overall atmosphere of horror and mystery. Whether it's the grotesque abbot or the spectral brides of Strahd, every monster serves a purpose in the narrative, creating an interconnected web of terror that enhances the overall gaming experience. Now, let's talk about the aesthetics. The artwork in Curse of Strahd is simply stunning. The illustrations capture the grim beauty of Barovia, immersing players in its haunting landscapes. The layout is well organized, making it easy for DMs to navigate and for players to absorb the atmosphere. The inclusion of maps and handouts enhances the overall gaming experience, allowing players to visualize the city and its various locales. While this is a stunningly well-written module that I would recommend every table plays at least once, it is definitely not for new Dungeon Masters. 
While it does a decent job of describing how to use its new features, trying to navigate new mechanics while making sure you have all of the old mechanics down can be quite tricky. And while the module claims to be written for player levels 1 to 10, I would be remiss if I didn't say, from my own nightmarish experiences, the beginning of this module is not low level friendly. So if you're going to have your players start at level 1, make sure you have at least 5 players or you may very well accidentally kill off your entire table. Curse of Strahd is a triumph in the realm of tabletop gaming. Its rich storytelling, multifaceted characters, and atmospheric design create an unforgettable experience. However, it's not for the faint of heart. Prepare for a descent into darkness that will leave an indelible mark on your gaming group. A must-have for those craving a thrilling gothic adventure. That wraps up our review of Curse of Strahd. Have you faced the Lord of Vampires? Share your Barovian tales in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more D&D content. Until next time, may your roles be critical and your adventures shrouded in mystery.